in my last video I said I wasn't going to be doing any more videos until after my gig this Saturday. Well, I lied. I'm going to do a video on this microphone that I picked up. This is the Shure PGA58. And the reason I bought it was with this mixing board that I'm going to be using for this new nightclub podium that I built, it doesn't have an on-off mic switch on the board itself. Usually there's a button or a switch or something where you can turn the mic on and off. There's nothing on this board. So if you want to use the mic, you have to turn it up. If you want to turn the mic off, you have to turn it down. For those of you who use microphones a lot, that's a pain in the butt because you find, you know, kind of that sweet spot for your mic volume where it's not feeding back yet it's good and loud. So I wanted to get a switched microphone. And my first thought was, get a short SM58 with a switch on it. I've never used one, but I know they exist. And the Shure SM58 is kind of like the Technics 1200 of microphones. There are two things that will probably outlast your career. The Shure SM58 is one of them. Technics is the other. You know how they say, don't drop the microphone because you could pop the capsule? Well, the Shure SM58 it's actually pretty durable. So why not go that route? Well, I needed it for Friday and I couldn't find one. But at a local shop, they had these brand new Shure PGA 50s with switches on them. So I thought I'd give it a try. And there's some stuff I really like about it. Let's do an unboxing. So here's the retail box that it comes in. Now, full disclosure, I reboxed this, but it came exactly like how I'm going to unbox it. I haven't even taken anything out of the box besides the microphone, so everything else will kind of be where it's supposed to be. So open it up like so. The microphone is packed in bubble wrap. Of course, here it is. It's not a bad looking microphone at all. See that switch? I love that switch. Put that aside over here. What else is in the box? Yeah, a bunch of stuff here from sure. That's a sticker. That's going on the sticker pull. I dig that. You got a clip. It's a nice clip. I might put this clip on the gooseneck. I mean, what I have on there is probably like a Behringer or something. So maybe I'll use this. Looks all right. Wow, they even give you an XLR cable. A balanced XLR cable. Don't know the quality of it or anything else, but it's a free balanced XLR cable. This fell out. Oh, okay. This is a Velcro strip. These are cool to use on your mic stands. Just to kind of hold your mic cable back, like from flopping around or whatever. Kind of nice to have. And we have a microphone pouch. These are handy. And the user's guide, which we'll never read. There are other people on YouTube who have done reviews on these or whatever, and they're not brand new. They've been out for, I don't know, six or seven years, maybe even longer. But I just got my hands on it, and here's some stuff that I like about it. First of all, I can turn it on, and notice, when I hit the switch, you don't hear any clicking noise. When I use some of the cheaper Behringers and things like that, they've got this hard switch on it where you can hear the click click when you turn it on and off. So I've always tried to be really careful when I use that switch. Not on this one. No problem. It's on and off. And you don't hear any clicking of a switch the switch is really nice not only that but when i'm speaking in it i'm hitting anywhere between zero db and plus three db and i'm not distorting at all the speaker is right behind me like right there that column and nothing so i think this microphone is going to work out just fine for the way i'm going to use it as a mobile dj 
sounds good. No feedback. It's good and hot. Not too hot, you know, but it's a good mic. It's a cardioid mic, not a super cardioid. Super cardioid, like the, right here, the Beta 58. These are cool mics, but yeah, the cardioid's just fine. And I'm not feeding back with cardioid. And it's not like I'm going to be walking around with it. It's on the podium. So, yeah, cool mic. Cool mic for 65 bucks. I don't know. Going to give it a try. Going to take it out and use it. And, you know, sometimes something like a microphone is something that you have for many, many, many years. Especially if it's durable. So, anyway, that's it. Quick video for you. An interesting choice. I think it's pretty cool. I love the switch on it. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.